All right, boys, welcome back to Midnight Cigars. My name is Eric, and today we will be reviewing Oscar Santiago Valadero's Exclusivo USA. What a name. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oscar? I haven't had this one is signed by Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. Thank you, bro. I haven't smoked an Oscar in I don't know how long, cause tell the truth, they are not on my radar whatsoever. Oscar cigar? None. I don't like. I don't think I like any of this cigar. Smoke a few, just didn't. You know, I've smoked lounges, smoke on my, you know, private time. And stuff like that. I didn't like any of them. So I think I reviewed one or two. I'm not sure. I just don't like them. So I don't care about them. But why don't we take a closer look at this one. Alright. Here's the cigar. This one tells you that doesn't look like an Oscar. That's the truth right there. Usually Oscar look like an Oscar. But this one looks kind of professional. You know. Still don't like the band. The band is very underrated. Or just very plain, not underrated, but plain, in my opinion. It doesn't scream out exclusive, in my opinion. Well, yeah. Good looking wrapper overall. Good looking cap. Good looking foot. It's a few soft spots here and there. Like right there, there's a big dimple. Like right there, where my thumb is. But uh, the price is surprising for an Oscar? And Oscar is $24.99, so $25 MSRP for an Oscar. Jeez! Uh, rapper is Ecuadorian Hobano. Binder is Honduras. Filler is Honduras. It's 6x52 Toro. Limited edition come with a coffin and everything. And I, I already take off the coffin. I, I don't know where I put it, to tell the truth. Uh, I was messing around with it and then I lost the coffin. I found a cigar. Still have the cigar, but lost the coffin. But, um, yeah, that'd be it. Tell the truth. An Oscar for $25? Jeez. All right. It's a limited edition, but, you know, uh, why don't we cut it and light it? All right. Uh, let's take off the foot band. Yeah, if it, it wasn't for Tony to give me this, I probably would never, never pick it up. Ever. I would never pay $20, $25 for an Oscar. But yeah, let's see. It might surprise me, tell the truth. You have Andorras. Andorras are good. Nothing much. On the wrapper. There's nice stink on the foot. I do enjoy the stankiness. All right, let's cut it and see how the draw is. Nice clean cut. Cold draw. I don't like that culture. What the hell? It already tastes like tastes like ammonia, mineral. Okay, with a little spice tingling on the lip. I hope that don't transfer over. If it does, oh god! You know what I mean? All right, let's light it.
so far. They have that Oscar-ish cigar taste. I, I don't know how to explain that. But a lot of the cigars just taste the same like this. That little nuance of every, I told you, every brand have a little nuance to the cigar from cigar to cigar in their brand. In the lineup, they have that little nuance to keep keeping that nuance continue on different uh, variety of their cigar. Tell the truth, that's a lot of brands, actually all brands, right? So creamy earth leatherness on the pellet. Smooth, smooth baking spice or white pepper spice. It doesn't sting, it's just very smooth on the retro pellet with a little bit of cocoa and earthiness and leatheriness on the finish after the retro. So the mineral have not followed through, thank God, because that cold draw was bad, man. But you know, that's why I don't judge by the cold draw. You just do it for fun. You know what I mean? Cold draw don't mean shit. Just very woodsy and earthy forward. There's a little bit nuance of sweetness. But nothing really implode out. If you don't retro how it's very earthy. It's an earthy cigar. With a little bit like wood sweetness. And if you give retro hell more than 60%, or like around 60%, 40% of the smoke, um, it's, it's more peppery, but it's not, it doesn't rip. But then it finish up with like a sweet wood. And it, but there is a lot of earth and leather in between those. But yeah, that's it for the fuel puff. So overall, the draw is nice. The cigar is is an Oscar. That's all I can say. But um, it's not starting out too bad. It's starting out like how I expected. Tell the truth. Um, but yeah, that's it. We'll see what happened at the end of the first third. All right, boys, we're back at the end of the first third. Tell you, tell you the truth. Um, very plain of palate. Earthy, leathery, but it's like watered down flavor. Uh, it started losing flavor already on the first third. It switches kind of crazy to me. There's a little bit of sourness, citrusiness on the retro hell with a little bit more oomph on the white pepper and a little bit of sweetness on the finish. But on the palate is very washed down flavor. Nothing really impressive on the palate. The retro hell is okay, but that leathery earthiness is in there in the mix so much in there is that it's not even really enjoyable um this cigar so far is not enjoyable since the light up well no the light up was okay it was a little bit good it was okay and then after that it just downhill from now i, I don't know what would happen to the cigar in a It's 
a ground up espresso as well. Or coffee beans, ground up, ground up coffee beans, but watered down. It's like, you know, you water down your coffee, like way watered down. That's what it is to me right now. Is that, that what it is? It's nothing impressive whatsoever. Nothing really good. Nothing really going on. And for this, really? All right. All right, that's it for first third. Really nothing to be raving about. Um, other than it's a cigar. <laughs> like I said, this cigar looked very underwhelming for me already. So yeah, that'd be it for first third. We see what happened at the end of the second third. All right, boys, we're at the end of the second third. Um, so true, the cigar, second third, uh, red pepper, spice, on the retro hell, uh, on the palate, same thing, earthy, leathery. And it, it leave, now it leave like a metallic layer on the tongue, on the finish. After you just, you know, you just smoke it and whatever, it just sit there. Very metallic -y. There's a couple points in the cigar on the second, third. Did have like a floralness mixed in with the earthiness. So it turned into like a floral mushroom. I would say, and that is very upsetting in my opinion. It's not good at all. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this cigar is not hitting at all for me. I'm very disappointed in it, for, especially for the price range. You know what I mean? Oscar, you need to chill the fuck out. Yeah, not right now. If you let... If you retro hell a little bit like how I did it, uh, it leaves like abundance of mineral, metallic, a little bit of ammonia. It's not good. It's not good. Good cigar to be smoking. Tell the truth. Oh, sh shit is nasty. But whatever. Uh, we we'll see what happened at the end. I really want this cigar to be done with. I don't want to smoke it no more. But I just have to do what I have to do. Uh, so yeah, we we'll see what happened at the end of the cigar. All right, boys, welcome back. We're the end of cigar. Very metallic-y, charred wood. Um, the retro hell. Ammonia, charred wood, earthy, leathery. This cigar's not good. I don't, I can't, it's, you don't, I don't, I, I'm glad that's over. Uh, I would never buy again, to tell the truth. Uh, this cigar is no good in my palate for me, for my experience. It's very just bland, earthy, leathery, ammonia, metallic kind of taste. It just sit on your palate. It's like a bitter, really bitter coffee, I would say, at time to time. So, I would rate the cigar no go. Yeah. Uh, my new rating is no go, rebuy five pack, or box. And this one is a straight no go. But yeah, that'd be it for the review. I'm just so glad it's over. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you next time. Peace!